What's up, fellow card langers, and welcome back. My name is Matthew Boyle from languagecardgames.com. Here today to say thank you yet again to Leo Bacani, who is from Italy. And Leo helped me to produce Language Guardians in Italian recently, and we've made it available online at the website. So if, you're, if you're not familiar with Language Guardians, it is a simple and easy language learning game. It's good for casual gamers, entry-level gamers, mixed age, mixed ability groups. It plays like Uno or Crazy Eights in that you have to match your cards by color or by name so you can put them down. And once you get rid of all the cards in your hand, you win. But there's a language learning component in this one, so you have to speak a word in your target language before you can put your card down. And there's wild cards too that can be played on top of anything. So this is a great thing for kids and families or study groups and clubs. And I'm about to open for the very first time my own deck of the Italian language guardian. So I'm very excited about this. And I really wanna say thank you to Leo for making this dream come true. I had always hoped and imagined maybe one day someone would help me translate one of my games into another language, but I never really knew where that help would come from. So yes, definitely, thank you to Leo. And let me show you some of the cards here. So, well, let me fan them out this way. So you can see there's four colors. Green is primarily for nouns. Red is primarily for sentences. Blue is primarily for verbs. Black and white is primarily for adjectives. And then there are some pink ones, which are the wild cards. And there you can see colore, sport, numero, anatomia, anatomy, um, trotola, which means spin, urla, which means scream. Now see, I'm, I'm st I know what some of these words mean already just because I've played with the English cards. So I'm thinking about using these cards, even though I don't really know Italian at all and I haven't studied it and I haven't been taught it, I think I'm gonna be able to play with these cards with some of my friends because we're already so familiar with the English cards that we should know what these mean. Um, basically, we, we should be able to know this uh, at least enough in order to play the game. Maybe we, we won't understand every word on every card because there's some flavor text and storylines here on the bottom which are pretty complex. But knowing how the game functions already in English, I think we can put this to use. And it's pretty exciting for me just to pick up some, any, basic Italian vocabulary. I find it interesting. I, I'm very curious. So thank you so much again to Leo, and I'll be putting links to Leo's work in this video and his YouTube channel, and I'll also link to more videos about Language Guardians and the Italian version of Language Guardians. You can go to languagecardgames.com to buy it today. It's already there. All right, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you back here next time at Language Card Games. Bye-bye for now.